Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, change the brakes on a 1999 Chrysler 300M. Uh, this should apply to all Chrysler's all the way to the 2003, I believe, or pretty much to any vehicle. Um, the only difference is the design of the brakes that they have. Uh, for this one, it looks something like this. Um, pretty cheap, like 20 bucks for the pair. And all it it just clamps onto the inside of the brakes. I'll show you guys right now. But what you're gonna need is um uh, this thing right here, and I'll show you why. It's a C clamp. Um, so this is what it looks like. This one is already pretty much worn out. So. To remove the the brake, you just need to take off these two bolts on the back. There's that one right there. This one, and then there's one another one on the bottom. It's on the back someplace, but it's just two bolts that you loosen up, and then it'll come off. Uh, this right here, that's for your your brake liquid if you ever want to drain it out then just uh, unscrew it and it'll start running leaking so once you remove those screws all you need to do is just pull it out it is going to be a little bit tight but um, yeah uh, when you're pulling it out you, you got to be careful because you don't want to damage the um, the hose for the brake fluid There it is. There's the two pads. Very worn out already. Uh, these ones are just, they just clamp on, so it's not really that hard to take them off and replace them. So you just pretty much just pull them off. There's one. And the second one, you just pull it off as well. It's just clamped onto this barrel right here. So, next thing you're going to be doing is um, putting in the new pads. These are for the front. I mean, for the yeah okay so putting this one first uh, it's gonna be a little bit tight to put it in because it's gonna be closed so that's where the um, where the C-clamp comes in um, with that one you're able to push it in because it is really hard to get this one to go back in so with the C-clamp you're gonna be able to push the barrel back in to make space so you're going to locate the C-clamp like this and start pushing it in. You're going to pretty much want to push it all the way in. Uh, that way you could have space for your both pads to fit in into your thing right here. I don't know how you call this um, disc. I think it is. Just I'll just call it disc.
There it is. Okay. So that's pretty much it. How you replace your pads, change your brakes on this Chrysler. It pretty much applies to most of your Chryslers. Uh, it's the same thing pretty much for um, the rest of the vehicles. The only difference is the design of the brakes. Like for this one, uh, this one has clamps on, on this one. For some other cars, it, it may be different. They might have screws on them or something. Um, but it's all pretty much the same thing that you need to do. So pretty much now everything is just assembling back, everything goes back together, put everything together. It's going to be the same way, just put back the screws back in, uh, put it back in the wheel, and yeah, you're pretty much going to be done. So there it is, all done, brand new pads. So this job takes about 30 minutes to do, it's not hard. I mean 30 minutes for each uh, wheel probably, 30-15 minutes. Um, so yeah, uh, it's very easy, it's not complicated. Uh, so you just saved yourself like 200 bucks, 400 dollars even. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more how videos.